And this is just a quick up. Actually, this is kind of a mishmash video. First off, quick update. Starscream has missiles. And as you can see, I've colored them again with the same red Sharpie I used on his head. Uh, so you can do that on the soft rubber. It is a cluster of, as you can see, it's a cluster of three missiles on his arm. Uh, when, and in the show, you, you know, he has one. Uh, but to get a missile, like, I mean, the, the missiles are the right size, but to get a missile this size to actually plug into his arm and then also be able to plug into the wing, you can see, like, this is already about as thin as you could make this soft rubber piece to still attach. Um, and if you cut off the missiles to just leave one, you're just going to have this big clump of gray right here. Uh, looking awkward. So I mean, I, 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 I see that's how I, that's how I roll, with uh, with the freaking jibba jabba. Um, anyway, I think if they used one missile, it would just look weird, to be that tiny, or or you'd have to have like comically oversized missiles to fit on there, right? I, I agree with their decision, to uh, to go with uh, the three missile cluster because it, it looks, it still looks good. And, um, like I said, easier to manage transformation-wise than a single missile. So there, yeah, they're just an update to that. Um, that was the first part of the video. Uh, the second part, TFCon, was just an amazing experience last week up in Toronto. Um, I highly recommend going if you have the means. Um, I enjoyed it a lot more than I enjoyed BotCon this year, and I really enjoyed BotCon this year. So, uh, yeah, check it out if you get the chance. Um, there was Gary Chalk came down and played guitar in the bar on Saturday night, just just right in the middle of everybody. Um, just right in the middle of everybody there. Uh, just sat down to the bar, brought his, you know, I, th I think, I don't know if someone loaned him their guitar, or, or if he brought his own, but really, really cool. Um, just really neat to see him there and just completely it wasn't like botcon where like everybody had like a security detail or was kind of hiding in the back gary and paul eiding uh, the voice of perceptor were just wandering around all weekend saying hi to people uh, interacting judging contests it was just just a whole lot of fun and uh just an experience you're not going to get at botcon it's a very different experience than uh than the big con and, and botcon's cool botcon has the bigger draw um, you know, they're kind of like the big summer blockbuster, whereas TFCon is kind of like the smaller independent film that you really enjoy more. Um, and um, just had a great time, met a lot of great people. Actually got to spend some time instead of just running from panel to panel, actually had a lot of time just hanging out with people, uh, including Vangelis, as you probably saw on his uh, most recent video review. And um, just, just all in all, a good time. Aaron and Jared and... Uh, Chris, uh, GM fan Chris, and Ian, and uh, Daniel, uh, Proto Man, as you may know. Um, just hung out with a bunch of people, met a lot of people. Um, Bradford, who asked me to sign his badge, I'm a little, I think he's starting second grade. Um, he was really awesome to meet. He came up, he was looking for me in the line, and he came up, and that was just a really cool, um, really cool experience to have somebody like that uh, come up, and, and, and just, it was very flattering, and it was, and it was just really cool. Um, Played in the faction feud. My team. I was I was on the space ponchos with uh, my friend my friend B and uh, Rhett Gar and Andrew and uh, and what we didn't win, but I think we had the best moment of the faction feud. And if you were there, you know what I'm talking about. It was it was just a lot of fun. Um, and like I said, there was drinking. I did the I did, I did the uh, donut review that you saw the other day in the bar after I'd had like two or three Guinnesses. So, so yeah. But it was just a, just a good experience, and I highly recommend going. I got all I got everything I wanted. I got um, I got the exclusives, which you're going to see some reviews of those coming up. The Toxin. Um, I've already done the uh, Night Ops review and the Stronghold review. I'll, I'll do a Stronghold update because there were a couple of stickers that came with the convention version that didn't come with mine. Um, I picked up all the Headmasters I wanted. Uh, for less than I expected to pay for them. I, I got Chrome Dome, Highbrow, Hardhead, and Brainstorm, who all look great with the Stronghold when he's all painted up and fixed up uh, and turned into Stronghold. The comic was good uh, for this year's thing. I met Alex Milne, and Alex Milne signed and sketched my, uh, and did a sketch inside my IDW Collection Volume 1, which, of course, has the uh, his uh, Megatron origin in it. Um, I, got a, I got IDW Collection Volume 1 signed by Simon Furman, um, I thought about taking, like, some older comics to have Simon sign, but, like, they're all individual, and you never know how they're going to hold up, and I, I figured I could get both of them to sign my, my hardcover IDW collection, and that'll hold up, you know, that'll stand up a little better over time. 
So uh, I'm really proud to have that. I really it's up on my shelf, and I'm, I'm really glad to have that. I got Gary Chalk to sign my Beast Wars Season One DVD um, after I got uh, David Kay to sign my Beast Wars Season Two DVD at BotCon. So um, just an overall amazing experience. Like it, there really is just no way. The dealer room was awesome. Uh, a lot of good deals to be had. And then the '80s Toy Expo came in on Sunday with a whole bunch of like old '80 like other line '80s lines. There was a bunch of He-Man and Ghostbusters and like Mask and Jason the Wheeled Warriors, and it was just a lot of fun. Just a lot of fun. Now the Batmobile showed up. Some Ghostbusters, like actual people in Ghostbusters, showed up. Like the Le- the Five O First Legion and Darth Vader all showed up on Sunday. Um, I really I really can't can't tell you enough how much I enjoyed. Uh, TF Con Toronto, and so if you want to go next year, I highly recommend doing it. They haven't announced the dates yet, but keep an eye out. Um, also, GM Fan One Hundred and One and Cheers Ian on uh, on Twitter. These are two guys, uh, two of the guys behind um, TF Con. A couple of the guys who made it all happen, um, along with people like Proto Man and Evangelist helped out and Super Megatron. Um, and I, I didn't meet, get everybody's name, and if I'm forgetting you, I'm sorry, but just they, they were part of the crew that made it such a great convention. Um, and they kind of jokingly the other day, uh, when we were all hanging out in, the, in, the, in their hotel room after the fact, uh, wanted me to get them more followers on Twitter. So, GMFan101 and Cheers Ian on Twitter. Go follow them, because I'm, I'm trying to get both of them up to 400 followers each. If I do that, um, I will give away... Something cool. I don't know. Maybe maybe three Xbox 360s. Maybe a Nintendo 3DS uh, with a game. Um, I don't know. But I'm gonna get. Like, I don't know yet. But if both of them get up to 400 followers, I will give one to one of those away to each of their followers. So two total. One to G. One of GM fans' followers. One to one of Cheers Ian's fans' followers. Um, or Cheers Ian's fa- followers. But I will give. I will give away two very neat things. Uh, if we can get both of those guys up to 400 followers. So if you have a Twitter account, go to Twitter, follow GMFan101, and follow Cheersian, and uh, we will see how that goes. Um, so yeah, I haven't finalized the prizes yet, but I guarantee you it will be something cool. And and that's about it. Uh, that was my TFCon basic video review update. Um, I'll probably talk more about it as I review several of the figures that I got there. And if you look over to the side of the list over there, you will see that there are many, many things that um, I picked up at TFCon <laughs> this, this weekend. I am loaded with stuff uh, that I'm going to be reviewing probably over the next two or three weeks. It's going to take me that long to get through them. Um, animated RC, or Prime RC should be coming in soonish, so uh, that will be cool. Um, and, uh, and maybe some more after that. Oh, that was the other thing that was cool about TFCon. Hasbro was there, and they brought some of the Prime toys. They brought uh, Prime Bumblebee, and they brought the Prime and Megatron 2-pack with the kids. Um, and they had them both boxed, uh, sitting there so you could pick up the packaging and see them. They also had loose versions, and the Hasbro booth, just they just set them out on their table. They just set them out on the table, and you could come up and just play with them. So I, 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 well, I did, well, you weren't able to buy them. Um, I did get a good a chance to spend a lot of good quality time playing with uh, Prime Bumblebee and the Deluxe Prime Megatron. I already have the Deluxe Prime Prime, as you saw from San Diego Comic-Con. And aside from a couple of paint apps, it is the exact same figure. But um, the Megatron and Bumblebee were two that I hadn't gotten to play with. And uh, both very cool. Bumblebee's neat. I think Megatron, Megatron's definitely worth picking up. Megatron's worth picking up that entire two-pack for. He's got a lot of very, very neat, uh, much like Starscream, some very neat transformation aspects through the through the whole process. Uh, just just a lot of fun to play with, and he looks really cool. Um, and Bumblebee, too. Bumblebee's got a lot of neat transformation things, but um, I don't think he looks quite as cool as Megatron uh, in, in little toy plastic form. So, so, yeah, there we go. TFCon Toronto, it was a great time. Uh, I highly recommend going next year or any year if you get, if you get the opportunity. Uh, follow these two guys on Twitter. And like I said, when they both reach 400, I will do something crazy for uh, the people who followed them. Um, so, yeah, there's Starscream with his missiles uh, all painted up. Uh, they obviously come standard straight gray. But um, So, yeah, uh, and, and to everybody who does this, thanks for watching. I appreciate all your support. Um, and uh, I'll see you. Uh, I'll have another. I'll have a video review up later tonight. Of um, actually, I've got two video reviews coming in in a few hours. Uh, T- Transformers Collectors Club Sideburn, and I've got the. Um, so we'll be seeing later tonight. We'll be seeing him. 
uh, video review, just a real quick one since he's already in mold we've covered several times. And I got the uh, the Crossfire Causality uh, Thunder Shred. Really cool figure. We'll be talking about him here in a little bit. Um, also, one of the other things I brought tonight that, that I'm probably going to shoot the review for tonight, uh, one of the figures I picked up really cheap from a bin of busted figures that I pieced together all the way complete is I got a TM2 Scavenger who I, I missed for a while, and he's really, a really cool figure, so I'll probably shoot that tonight, but that probably won't go up until later this week. So anyway, uh, again, thanks for watching, and take it easy. Go to TFCon, follow these guys, win great prizes, and be on the lookout for some cool video reviews coming tonight.